fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the West, there was a disputed strip of land between the territories of Colorado and New Mexico. Since it did not come under the jurisdiction of any local law enforcement officers, it served as a breeding ground for crime and corruption. Outlaw bands rode forth from it daily to pillage the surrounding countryside and terrorize honest citizens. They stole whatever they needed, money, equipment, food. Headquarters of this no man's land was a small abandoned town which had come to be known as Wingate City, named after the notorious criminal Buck Wingate, a shrewd, hard, relentless man who gave refuge here to every outlaw who sought it and then planned their crimes for them. There seemed no way to stop Buck and his followers. Safe inside the confines of Wingate City, the law could not touch them. But there were two men who were determined to destroy Buck Wingate's power at all costs, the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Their long experience in tracking down outlaws and fugitives had given them an almost sixth sense in guessing at where Wingate's bandits would strike next. And as one after another of these marauding outlaws failed to return from their missions of crime, Buck Wingate, safe in his headquarters in Wingate City, was beginning to get desperate. Here's another one. Masked man and Indian foil hold up attempt by members of Wingate gang. Turn outlaws over to Colorado authorities. Those two men have messed up half the jobs we've tried to pull around here this last month. They're real smart, boss. Smarter than any lawman I've run up against before. Did you ever stop to think that maybe they're not just ordinary lawmen? What do you mean? I mean they fit the description of two men I hoped I'd never meet. The two known as the Lone Ranger and Tonto. You know, Buck, I think you're right. I'm sure I am. That's why we better get rid of them before they get rid of us. I want every man we can spare to go out looking for those two men. You know, I've always liked this handbill of myself. Kind of flatters me. But I'm thinking now that the masked man's picture would look a lot better on it than mine. And I'm willing to double the reward for him. $20,000. I'll make him the most hunted man that ever lived. Very interesting, Tunnel. It seems that Wingate is just as anxious to capture me as I am to capture him. It's plenty unusual for outlaw to offer reward to capture lawmen. Wingate's that kind of an outlaw. Smarter than most. I'd give a lot to get my hands on him. And how can we, Kimisabi? Him never leave city. Him always have other crooks pull holdups for him. We've got to find a way to get into his city and bring him out. Well, we disguise ourselves as bandits, maybe, and get into the city that way? No, Tano, that wouldn't work. Wingate screens every outlaw that seeks refuge with him. He knows every crime they've committed. And how we fool him? Tano, look. Colonel Willoughby Oglethorpe. We remember him. We help him out of plenty big trouble once. Him like to make big talk, but him good man at heart. Tano, I wonder if he'd be a good enough man to risk his life to help capture Buck Wingate. You have a plan, Kimisami? A dangerous plan, but if the Colonel goes along with it, we might be able to get into Wingate City. Let's find his wagon. It should be near Twin Pines. Come on. left to, to sell my medicine at the show tonight. You boys have to preserve your strength. Say, that's a fine new box, Colonel. A lot better looking than the old one. Well, it looks all right, but uh, does it work all right? We'll soon find out. Get in there, boy. Adio. There's his wagon, Tonto. He and his clowns must be rehearsing for their performance tonight. Comfortable, boy? Don't feel a thing. Ah, that's my boy. He must have me. Him cutting man in two. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, Tonto. The Colonel will put him back together again. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. The most stupendous feat of the century. You say you'd like to learn my secret, sir? Well, all you have to do is... 
Assassins! We're surrounded by outlaws! Oh, we're not outlaws, Colonel. Of course they're not. They're the two fellas who kept us from getting robbed by the Dolan gang last year. Don't you remember? <laughs> I'll be doggone. <laughs> Kimasari, two men in box. <laughs> it's an old trick, Tonto. Boy, I'm delighted to see it. What brings you to these parts? Now, Colonel, we're looking for a brave man. We thought you might be just that person. Brave man, eh? Well, you've certainly come to the right place. In addition to being a soldier of fortune, prize fighter, lion tamer, I've been known to thrash as many as ten hoodlums at a time. Good. And I'm sure you won't be afraid to help us capture just one hoodlum. <laughs> you just name him. A man called Buck Wingate. Why, I'll take that man, and I will... Boy, did you say Buck Wingate, the notorious outlaw? Well, come and see us again sometime, huh? Wingate City not see good show in a long time. Then welcome you with open arms. Perhaps so, my friend, but, but I just couldn't consider it. It's not me that I'm afraid for, but believe me, you got to understand I wouldn't risk the lives of my two fine clowns. Well, neither would I, Colonel. But I plan to leave Bobo and Kinky here while Tonto and I take their place in your wagon. Y you and Tonto? But, 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 well, well, you, uh, Very well, simple, Colonel. All Tonto and I need are two hours in Wingate City without Buck knowing we're there. A daring enterprise, young man, but I don't think it'll work. Why, well, they'll catch on in no time. It has to work, Colonel. Wingate and his men are wrecking this entire territory. Well, what about Silver and Scout Kim, Azami? We leave them behind? No, Tonto. We'll dress them up and bill them as performing horses. Yeah, but one must have great agility to be a clown, a great art. A clown must know tumbling, acrobatics, magic. Why, uh, even a second-rate clown could reach behind a man's ear like that and produce an egg. Well, in that case, Colonel, I imagine a first-rate clown could reach behind a man's ear like this and bring out two eggs. Well, <laughs> suffering catfish, boy, where did you learn that trick? Don't you remember, Colonel? You taught it to me. I did? <laughs> well, <laughs> doggone. It's a plenty good trick. Come in handy to fool outlaws. Yeah, one trick is one trick, boy, but supposing you have to do a whole show. Colonel, if my plan works properly, we'll never have to. Well, what do you say? It'd make you plenty big hero. Big hero, eh? I can see the banner now. Colonel Willoughby Oglethorpe. World-famous hero. A man who captured the notorious outlaw, Buck Wingate. World-famous. Hero. By suffering catfish, I'll do it, boy. But there's, uh, there's just one thing. Oh, what's that? Uh, get me a good lawyer. I'd like to make out my will. <laughs> hey. Say, look, we're just coming around the bend there. It's a wagon. With some banners on it. And a couple of circus horses behind it. A medicine show. Hey, the boys could do with a little fresh entertainment tonight. Yeah, if they really are entertainers, come on. Oh, oh my. Why'd, you, why'd you want me to stop here? I'm sure Wingate has the pass to his city well guarded. I want to give his men a chance to take us by surprise. I don't want them shooting first and asking questions later. Ah, I see what you mean. All right, mister, reach. And tell anyone in your wagon to get out, fast. It's just my two boys in there, my two simple-minded clowns. They wouldn't hurt a fly. Uh, Bobo, Kinky, come out here. They show sure bounce around fancy-like. Well, a couple of somersaults don't mean much. How do we know they're not working for the law? What brings you to Wingate City, mister? Well, we just came here to entertain you, sir. And to offer a bit of information that your leader, Mr. Wingate, might consider highly valuable. Come on, Flick, let him in. They're all right. Well, I still say it could be a trick. If you're clowns, prove it. Like this? Hey, that's good. How do you do it? It's a professional secret. What's the matter with this one? Is it tongue-tied? Oh, no, sir. His mouth is just too full. Show him, Kinky. Well, sir, you still think we're imposters? Come on, let him in, Flick. The gang's gonna think they're great. Well, all right. You'll find a campsite up by the old tavern. Fact. <laughs> 
Inside, Bobo, kick it. Let's go, boy. Get started, we go. All right, get up there. Get up, boy. Come on, get up there. We've covered this whole area, and all this. Not a sign of the masked man. There's an old windbag medicine man outside. Says he's got some information you ought to have. Bring him in. My humble thanks, sir, for this audience. I'm Colonel Willoughby J. Oglethorpe, sir. Purveyor extraordinaire. That's the uh, French, you know, of health and entertainment. At your service, sir. Hey, are you the fellows, those two clowns that do all the tricks? The very same, sir. I saw his show in Emerald City last month, boss. Those clowns are great. Them's my boys. What's on your mind? Sir, I came to see you about this. Now, don't tell me you've captured the Lone Ranger. <laughs> no, sir but I think I can lead you to his whereabouts. How do I know this isn't some kind of a trick? Sir, would any man in his right mind venture into your stronghold as I have and risk his life if he wasn't telling the truth? All right, where is he? You heard of Tumbleweed Valley? Yeah, right here. Well, my boys and I were stopped there by the masked man and his Indian companion this morning had the effrontery to suspect us of being outlaws and insisted on searching my wagon. What makes you think they'll still be there? I think they have a camp nearby, because I heard that masked man tell his Indian friend to ride into Cedar City and pick up some supplies and meet him back there in two hours. Tex, round up everybody we can spare. Tell them to head for Tumbleweed Valley as fast as they can. Right. Sure. Just a minute. I'm holding you and your clowns as hostages. If my men bring back the Lone Ranger, you'll get your reward. You can put on a show tonight for us to celebrate. But if they don't, that neck of yours will be stretched longer than a giraffe's. Wingate and his men rode out of town about 10 minutes ago. We'll give them time to get a little further away, and then it'll be our turn to go into action. And what's your plan, Kimisabi? To get Wingate alone for just five minutes. But how we do that? Him always keep men on guard. I'm counting on the Colonel to distract their attention by performing a few feats of magic. Yeah, but what you gonna do with Wingate, even if you do capture him, boy? How you gonna get him out of the city past the guards? By creating a diversion that'll draw the men away from the post. And I think I know a way to do it. Two men come this way. Hey, I've been telling Tex here about all them fancy tricks I saw your clowns do at that show last month. He thinks I'm a liar. Why, that's nonsense, boy. Anything your friend tells you here about my two clowns, absolutely true. Why, they're the best in their field. That's what I told him. Hey, I tell you what, have them do that stunt where they stand on each other's heads. That ought to convince them. Uh, well, I'd, uh, I'd like to, fellas, but uh, you see, we give no preview performances. You'll have to wait till the show this evening. What do you mean, I'll have to wait? When I said now, I meant now. Well, well, certainly, I'd be delighted. Uh, you feel up to it, boys? <laughs> How are you, Kiki? Well, there we are. Pretty good, huh? Not bad. Well, what about the finish of the act? Uh, the finish? The finish? Uh, yeah, the, the tumbling, boys. <laughs> you know the tumbling? Wait a minute. If you have to tell them what to do, there must be something wrong here. Well, they have many finishes to their act. Not to this one. I've seen it four times. Tex, keep them covered. I think this old windbag's trying to pull a double cross. I want to take a look at those two horses. They weren't part of the act before. Me glad we not have to do more tricks, Kimisabi. Plenty dangerous. 
Make head feel flat on top. I'll work much safer. I'll work much safer, Tavo. That trick was tame compared with the trouble we're headed for now. Come on. We'll let the boss have a little talk with all three of them. So you're Bobo and Kinky, the world's two greatest clowns. Just which one are you? That one don't talk much, boss. He lets the other one do all the talking. Yeah? Well, I'll make him talk. All right, clown, you got three seconds to answer my question or your friend gets a bullet in his head. Now, who are you? You're not hurt him. Me, Kinky. Me, Kinky. What kind of English is that? What are you? Well, there's one sure way of finding out. Will you look at that, boys? An Indian. An Indian? One of the two men we're looking for is an Indian. Yeah, I know. An Indian who rides a paint and pals around with a masked man on a big white stallion. Just like those trick horses they brought with them. Well, what do you know? Now, it wouldn't be possible that you're the Lone Ranger, would it? You mean they walked right into our hands? Right into our hands and into their graves. I gotta hand it to you, Colonel. That was a good trick. You almost pulled it off. But almost isn't enough. Shall we take them out and string them up, boss? Before I've had a chance to see the Lone Ranger's face, the face that no outlaw in the West has ever seen and lived to tell about, wipe that paint off of him, Hawk. I wouldn't try that if I were you. How are you gonna stop him? Don't tell me you got another trick hidden up your sleeve. A man in my profession always has another trick hidden up his sleeve. Hey, where's their guns? Have you searched them? Well, no, boss. We could see they weren't wearing none. You fools. They might be hidden under those disguises. Keep them covered. You're not even warm, Wingate. Get your arms out. He's got something hidden up his sleeve. I can feel the bulge. Get it, Hawk. What? Hold on, Wingate. I dropped that gun. Well, Tonto, you still think our business is safer? Uh, plenty hard on job, but much safer. All right, Wingate. On your feet. We're turning you over to the law. You don't say. And just how are you going to do it? Colonel, go to the wagon. Bring back some makeup and our regular clothes and guns. Uh, what if somebody sees me? Use the back entrance. If anyone stops you, just say Wingate requested a special performance. I got you, my friend. <laughs> Get him up there. Get him up there. You think you got me, don't you? Just because most of my men are still out looking for you. Well, I've got guards posted where I need them. How are you going to get me past them? There won't be any guards around here when we're ready to leave. No? Where are they going to be? They'll be out chasing your two men there. Hawk and Tex? You're crazy. Why should they? Because Hawk and Tex are going to look exactly the same as two clowns named Bobo and Kinky. That's the nice thing about clown makeup. It hides who's ever beneath it. All right, Tonto, tie them. We'll go to work on them as soon as the Colonel returns. You think this is going to work, my friend? Well, Colonel, don't they look like Bobo and Kinky? Yeah, yeah, they're a spitting image, but you think they can fool their own men? We'll soon find that out. Already, Kimasami. Good. Keep Wingate covered while Tonto and I send the two clowns on their way. Oh, you can trust me, my friend. I won't take my eyes off this scoundrel. Right. So you thought you could outwit the old Colonel, did you, boy? Well, I guess you see who the master is here. <laughs> you have to get up mighty early in the morning to outsmart me, buddy. And don't you forget it. Now, Tom. You're next. Not too far off. Come on, we're trying to hit him off. I'm not next, Colonel. You are. Swallow the bait, Tonto. Every guard in town must be after them by now. Get Silver and Scout and meet me behind the building. Quick. I'm sorry, my friend. I just took my eyes off this snake for a second. That's the trouble with the snake, Colonel. It never stops trying to strike. Town empty, Kimasami. Everyone chasing clowns. A good time for getaway now. Their horse is no match for Silver and Scout. Colonel, you ride with Tonto. 
I'll take care of Wingate. Tyler, you keep us covered from behind. Uh, yeah, but what about my show? I can't give my show without a wagon. Colonel, you're about to become a hero. There's $10,000 reward for Wingate's capture. You can buy a new wagon. Well, suffering catfish, I plumb forgot about that. All right, let's get loaded. <laughs> Colonel Willoughby Oglethorpe, hero, who captured Buck Wingate. Boys, thanks to my heroism, we're attracting bigger crowds than we ever have. That's good news. What's better news, Tano, is that Wingate's power has ended. Now that he's in jail, his gang is completely demoralized. Ah, uh, no gang worth much without leader, Kimisabi. Have no one to think for it. Them be captured fast now. Well, Colonel, it's time that Tano and I were on our way. Thanks for your cooperation. Think nothing of it, my friends. If ever you're in trouble again, just call on old Colonel Willoughby Oglethorpe, the hero of the West. We'll remember. Adios, friends. There go two fine young men. The West would be a better place if we had more like them. It sure would. Tell us, Colonel, how does it feel to be a hero? Oh, no different than usual, I guess. You see, heroism comes sort of natural like to me. Why, well, I'm descended from a, a long line of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, gentlemen. We all know who the real hero is. The Lone Ranger. I'll